and gas prices right now are an all-time high, a seven-year high to be in fact, and really there's no stop until 2022. Find a parking spot and park. But you forget to pay for parking or park in the wrong zone entirely, all because you're running late to class. As temperatures were steadily falling, residents were desperate enough to get any warmth they could and even charge their phones in their own car and even resorted to sleeping in the back seat. So, si se bailar o no se bailar? Si, si sabes. Si se bien. So, durante, ¿qué más va a estar pasando durante el evento aquí hoy? Perfecto, son mucha información aquí para la comunidad hispana de los estudiantes en Sam Houston State University. Aquí ya es todo por mí, soy Jesús Martínez, para atrás al estudio. All right, so we're gonna, as soon as we go over here, what else is going to be going on today, Cindy, throughout this whole event this afternoon? Our main audience is the ones who want to see equality and positive change out here in Huntsville. Equality and positive change is what Mustafa Williams wants to see happen nearly a year after and a half the death of George Floyd. Williams is the second head of the Community Activist Department for BLM Hair, which stands for Huntsville Alliance Against Injustice and Racism. During the time of the murder of George Floyd, there was a protest that was put on by a couple of people, and at that protest we all came together afterwards to start organizing more protests, and then over time we got together a couple of our group members got together and we put together BLM Hair to promote more visibility and more positive change in the community of Huntsville because it's lacking in that area. Protesters say the feedback from the city has been mixed. It's been about 50% good and 50% bad, but we have received a lot of positive feedback because they always say, y'all is so peaceful. But the protests haven't been well received by others, as Jules Williams, co-head of the Community Activist Department for BLM Hair, describes. Racial slurs, debt threats, um, pretty targeted, hateful messages, people threatening for anything from calling you the N-word daily or threatening to burn your house down, still calling you the N-word. During our interview, a peaceful counter-protester came up to BLM Hair, and a group of people inside a vehicle tried to create tension with the protesters. Get out there now. At the end of the day, these protesters say they want to remind everyone that We're visible, we're not going anywhere, we're going to continue to say that Black Lives Matter because they do. In downtown Huntsville, Jesus Martinez, Channel 7 News. I am ending the statewide mask mandate. That is what Texas Governor Greg Abbott said earlier in March in a press conference as Texas moves towards a sense of normalcy amidst the pandemic but some feel enough isn't being done as it is. I feel like they could definitely like do a better job at cleaning the carts and have like hand washing stations throughout the store or like 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 antibacterial wipes that, that people can use. Target customers feel the same way. Enforcing the mask mandate for sure. Uh, they have the sign that says, you know, it's everyone should be wearing it, but they don't say anything if it, no one is. Both Walmart and Target have policies in place for customers to wear masks inside their stores, but vary in wording. Walmart has had a mask policy since the summer, but isn't requiring employees to enforce the policy itself. Target has a similar policy in place, but here, employees will provide customers a mask if they don't have one. Despite the governor lifting the mask mandate, there are still customers who choose to keep on wearing a mask. If in any statistical measure wearing a mask might lessen the chances of having this illness and giving it to someone else, then I'm definitely going to wear it. You know, all politics aside, that's, that's how I feel about it. And that's why I wear it still. And I will until I get a vaccination and things are a little bit easier to walk around. Jesus Martinez. Channel 7 News. As warm and inviting as this apartment complex may seem, you wouldn't know how cold this leasing office was towards residents' complaints just two months ago. There was water like coming out of the lights and the outlets and stuff and coming from other units. Presley Hughes and Angelica Arias are just some of the residents of 1879 who shared their frustration on how the leasing office went about helping residents during and after the historic snowstorm back in February. The whole ceiling was water damaged, my carpet was wet, there was like, I don't know, it was just still kind of wet in here. As temperatures were steadily falling, residents were desperate enough to get any warmth they could and even charge their phones in their own car and even resorted to sleeping in the back seat.
But like I said, I had like nowhere to stay and it was still freezing cold that day. Antonio Calderon was another resident who was affected by the storm and ended up moving to Houston. This is how his apartment looks now. Gave me like a rent reduction per on what's usable. Since the bathroom is not usable at the moment and then as well as the water wasn't on, on for a couple of days, so they could have just at least given like a percentage of that off. And that's where the lease comes in. In section 40, the last sentence reads, During such reconstruction, there shall be a reasonable reduction of the rent for the unusable portion of the premises. Only Antonio was too late to put any request in writing concerning his living conditions, as stated in section 38. Well, it is livable, so you can just move in. And that's when I told him, no, because I signed for a lease that everything was 100% functioning. I didn't sign a lease with a hole in a wall. I didn't sign a lease with, like, dry rock or uh, ceiling pieces on the floor, all that. The lease is very vague on what it considers habitable, and 1879 management didn't feel comfortable with an on-camera interview and declined to answer questions concerning resident complaints. This is Channel 7 News. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jesus Martinez, and welcome to Channel 7 News. If you're on campus, you may have noticed a few street preachers on the LSE yard arguing with students. Channel 7's Michael Garcia spoke with some members of Christian groups on campus to get their take on their delivery method. Looking to spread some holiday cheer? We'll pick an ornament from the Tree of Hope and make the child's Christmas wish come true. The Department of Leadership Initiatives teamed up with the Boys and Girls Club of Walker County to make the season magical for the less fortunate children and the community. SHSU students, staff, and faculty are encouraged to stop by the Loman Student Center Office 326 to select an ornament to help, a, to help fulfill a child's Christmas wish. The donation initiative began this Monday and will end the first, December, or the first Friday of December. Tired of all the negative news surrounding COVID-19? Well, we have some good news for all SHSU students. Sam Houston State University has been selected as the 2021 Star Award recipient by the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board. This award was given out based on the college's overall response to ensure the health, safety, and success, including student success, of its campus and local community during the COVID-19 pandemic. This accolade shows that staff and students working together as a team can overcome anything when, when we have a common goal. If you're interested in poetry, Music Nation has just what you need. On Thursday, Music Nation had their 8th annual PSL, or Pure Spoken Luxury Slam. There were various businesses vendors selling their products. In addition to the performances, Music Nation Pre President Zachary Hall has some encouraging words for aspiring poets. Coming up, SHSU alumni showed up to tailgate prior to the Bearcats taking on Dixie State this weekend. A pleasant week ahead, thanks, Hannah. Well, if the temperatures may not get you in the holiday spirit, this will. The 100th annual Tree of Light canned food drive is now underway. From November 1st through the 30th, you can bring in four canned good items to the Loman Student Center, Suite 215, Monday through, thir Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you do, you'll receive a Tree of Light shirt. The Tree of Light ceremony will be held on December 1st at 6 p.m. For a century, the annual celebration has been a time-honored tradition here at Sam Houston that you won't want to miss. Definitely looking forward to that football game this Saturday. Thanks, Jacob. Well, cool temperatures mark the start of the winter. It also means basketball season is just around the corner.